my other aha moment was recognizing how my neurodiversity has affected how I learned jujitsu. I have a thing called aphantasia. I have no sensory memory. I cannot picture my mother's face right now. I cannot remember what a blueberry smells like. I can't hear a song in my head. So when I'm learning jujitsu, my mind works completely in words. Like everything that I watch when I'm doing it, I'm trying to be like, okay, the foot goes there, the arm goes there, this. And I've kind of refined it now where I'm like, okay, he was in half guard, he bridged like this, and then he found an arm bar. So that's about as far as I can get, as far as words. And then when I go in and start repping, I either need a very patient advanced partner or like a good two stripe blue belt is ideal for me because they're moving through the technique slow enough that I'm like, oh, that's right. He said I had to put my hand here. Oh, that's right. He said you had to shift your hips here. Um, but mostly I'm like, okay, I do this and I'm like, okay, where's my arm bar? <laughs> when I'm learning something that's outside of my movement patterns. So it was really eye-opening for me when I started to learn from Bindi because jujitsu was so overwhelming to me. As you can well imagine, I can't like remember what I just watched an instructor do, even if he did it eight times. So learning from Bindi and learning his structural approach and finding the movement patterns over and over over and over again, then I'm like, okay, I know where I am now and I can do that sort of stuff. And so understanding that my brain is doing very different things than everyone else's is, and I think we all are. So this is why I, th I feel that like this is applicable to most people. And so to understand like the way the teacher is teaching to like really be able to grip on and be like, okay, this is how my brain works. And this is how I learned jujitsu was really eye opening for me too to understand because I knew I had it, but I didn't realize how it was affecting my jujitsu learning, if that makes any sense. Like I didn't realize that like, because I'll do things and then I'll put like the wrong arm up and turn the wrong direction because all I remembered was the arm up in a turn. And so like a lot of times when I get outside of my movement patterns, people will be like, what belt does she have? Because <laughs> all of a sudden I'm like, I'm looking like a two stripe blue belt. I don't have a problem with that. I, I love being humble. I love learning something new that's way outside of what I do. But I think figuring that out, that it was affecting how I was learning jujitsu has really allowed me to like refine the way that I learned jujitsu, the way I process new information now is, is different. And I'm more intentional about finding my two stripe blue belt. Because if, if I'm working with like a good, like high level person and they don't know this about me, then they'll just flow through the thing just as quick as they learned it. And I'm like, I don't have an opportunity to feel and put words on what they're doing. So that's another aha moment for me. It was like, oh, I learned jujitsu very differently than everyone else does.